When you hear the name So Yeji, you probably instantly think of her role in the hit drama It's Okay to Not Be Okay, and you might have also noticed that after this project, she completely fell off. Even her attempts at making a comeback with Eve in 2022 completely backfired, leaving the public wondering where it all went wrong and why no one wants to cast her anymore. Despite earning massive recognition for some of her earlier works, her time in the industry has been overshadowed by a string of controversies. One of the major scandals involved her ex-boyfriend Kim Jong-hyun, famous for his role in the mega-hit drama Crash Landing on You. Yeji was accused of being the only one with full control of that relationship, even prohibiting Jong-hyun from filming romantic scenes with other actresses. The drama unfolded in April 2021 when he faced a lot of heat for his standoffish behavior towards Girls Generation So Hyun, his co-star in the 2018 drama time. Rumor had it that he couldn't handle filming romantic scenes with her to the point he wouldn't even meet her eyes during filming. This got so out of hand, the script had to be changed last minute. Now you're probably wondering how Yeji played a part in all this. In 2021, Jong Hyun's agency revisited this controversy, revealing he left the set of time due to personal issues involving a woman. Since Yeji and Jong Hyun were rumored to be an item around the same time, netizens started putting two and two together. Dispatch then added fuel to the fire by revealing sensitive information about their relationship and Jong Hyun's strange behavior. They reported that he refused to film 13 scenes involving physical contact with So Hyun. They compared the original and revised scripts, noticing a very obvious drop in romantic scenes. Additionally, Dispatch claimed to have received private text messages suggesting that Yeji may have influenced Jong Hyun's cold behavior. These texts allegedly proved that she ordered Jong Hyun not to film any skinship scenes with So Hyun. Based on other messages, Jong Hyun was even asked to film the set to report back to her and inform her about his whereabouts. This bombshell report from Dispatch sent Yeji's career into a downward spiral. While chaos was exploding around her, she had a press conference scheduled for her movie Recalled. Instead of making a public appearance and acknowledging her wrongdoing, Yeji decided to cancel this event at the last minute. Reports came out revealing that she demanded the production team to block any questions regarding the scandal. When that unsurprisingly didn't fly with her team, she decided not to show up at all. The internet went up in flames as hundreds of people were accusing her of manipulating and gaslighting Jong Hyun. Netizens pointed out the hypocrisy of it all. Because Yeji was happily filming skinship scenes of her own, all while controlling her boyfriend's actions on set. The public lost all their trust in her, and the aftermath was brutal. She was forced to withdraw from the drama island, and her career was on the brink of collapse. For 10 months, Yeji and her team retreated into a deafening silence. Then, on February 27, 2022, she finally gave the public a sign of life. She wrote a personal apology, but the apology itself was just as underwhelming as her disappearance. She wrote, All of this stemmed from my immaturity, and I will work hard to be behave more carefully in the future and show you a more mature version of myself. Before she could apologize for the Jong Hyun incident, she was caught in quite a few other scandals though. It's safe to say that 2021 was a pretty miserable year for Yeji because she once again became the face of multiple tabloids, this time around for being an alleged school violence perpetrator. A netizen claiming to be Yeji's former classmate came forward with a post that would damage her career even further. They gave a very detailed account of all the horrors they faced in school, allegedly by the hand of Yeji. To prove their claims, the netizen shared a picture from their middle school yearbook, even adding Yeji's middle school picture to the post as verification. That wasn't all because they also uploaded a handwritten note that showed the date of the accusation. Elaborating on all the terrible things that happened, they said, so Yeji would go around with her girls, but if she decided she didn't like you, she would start hitting you. She treated people like they were her belongings. The shocking part is that this wasn't entirely new information. Back in 2014, a similar story was shared by a netizen. This person also accused Yeji of being a school violence perpetrator, saying, everyone knew her. She would and steal money from people. These accusations never saw the light of day though because Yeji was just a rookie at the time, so she never got into trouble for it. As the internet delved deeper into Yeji's past, a new layer of controversy emerged, her supposed academic background in Spain. Over the years, Yeji had created this narrative of having been an international student, mentioning Spain on multiple occasions. The first time she opened up about her past was in 2014 when she revealed she wanted to become a news anchor, which is why she decided to study in Spain. In the same year, she even opened up about the racism she faced from the professors while she studied there. Three years later, while appearing as a guest on a variety show, she once again confirmed she lived in Madrid for three years. 
But then came the big twist. Later in 2017, she denied ever attending a university in Madrid and even pointed out she never dreamt of being a news anchor. This confused the public and made her look like a gigantic liar. Keeping in mind all of these allegations, it's not crazy to find out that she was also accused of mistreating her staff. Someone claiming to be a former employee of hers came forward with a very chilling expose. They painted a picture of a tyrannical work environment where Yeji allegedly instilled fear in her employees with both her words and actions. The alleged victim explained that no one was able to come forward due to the lack of concrete evidence. They shared that phone checks were a constant threat, effectively erasing any digital evidence of Yeji's horrible behavior. This person confessed that at the workplace, everything revolved around Yeji's whims. A bad day at work meant the staff was forced to navigate her emotional minefield without eating any meals. The most disturbing aspect of the claims was the alleged threats. The netizen explained Yeji was a master manipulator, weaponizing the nature of the entertainment industry against her employees. Any time a rumor about her would circulate online, she'd take out her frustration on the staff, saying things like, this industry is small, be careful with what you say, or I will make it hard for you guys to get jobs. While no one knows whether these stories are true, they definitely were the fatal blow to her career. After the tumultuous year that was 2021, Yeji disappeared for a while and came back with an apology for the scandal involving Jong Hyun. This was all strategically timed because she was planning to make a comeback in June of 2022 with her drama Eve. Her team probably believed that if she apologized, the public's faith in her would be restored Stored. But this thought pattern was very flawed, although we'll never know if it was a genuine attempt at remorse or a calculated move to soften public opinion, we do know that it backfired completely. Before the new drama dropped, Yeji was embroiled in controversy once again. A netizen who claimed to have lived in the same building as Yeji's parents confessed her parents were awful neighbors. They allegedly got into fights with others living in the complex and even took up extra space by leaving their belongings in the common areas. Yeji's agency eventually addressed the issue, revealing that Yeji handled the matter by hiring a lawyer. All this buzz surrounding her was great publicity for Eve, which unsurprisingly faced criticism immediately, not for its content, but for the 13-year age gap between the leads. While some believe netizens saw this as a legitimate concern, others saw a double standard, pointing to similar age gaps in other dramas that flew under the radar. The question is whether the criticism was rooted in genuine concern or simply fueled by Yeji's tarnished image. While controversy kept piling up, lawsuits stemming from past scandals continued to plague her, a constant reminder of the shadows she couldn't outrun. Eve fell very short of expectations, receiving bleak reviews for both acting and directing. With an average viewership of only 4%, it was a far cry from the success Yeji was used to. Eve was supposed to be Yeji's triumphant return, but instead, it became a major flop. It barely made any noise in the industry, and it left netizens wondering why she had decided to return to the spotlight so soon after all her scandals. After Eve, Yeji decided to take a break from acting and went off the radar completely. Although some fans were eagerly waiting for her return to the industry, others knew it was never going to happen. The public didn't have enough faith in her for a comeback to be successful, not to mention she never really made any amends. She also disappeared from social media and fans believed they were never going to hear from her again. Then, in April of this year, she decided to give the public a sign of life by opening a new Instagram account. She shared pictures of herself smiling broadly as if she was welcoming a new beginning with open arms. It seems like that's exactly what she was doing because on May 24th, rumors surfaced that she's about to sign with a new agency, which means she's planning to make a comeback. A representative of this agency revealed that nothing has been decided yet, so we'll have to stay tuned to see whether she'll be successful this time around.